Okay, now that we're done with recipe A, I'm gonna go ahead and start on recipe B, which is identical to recipe A, for the exception we take out the baking powder. So if you remember, baking powder is an acid, so we're taking away the acid, so this will look different than recipe A. So let's start off with our dry ingredients first. We need one cup of flour, so I'm gonna do half cup twice. fourth or actually sugar is going to be with butter uh, so cornstarch we need three tablespoons I had already put in one tablespoon that's two teaspoon of salt. Like I said earlier, if you do not have a 1 8 teaspoon, you can grab your 1 4 teaspoon and eyeball it and it should be about half full to get 1 8. Um, let's see, flour, cornstarch, and salt. Okay, so let's go ahead and whisk this together. Remember, omit means to leave out, and we are leaving out the baking powder. So I had already microwaved a half stick of butter just so it could be at room temperature. We don't want it liquid, we just want it softened, okay? So, because we are going to be using it to cream together the butter, sugar, and vanilla. So one fourth cup of sugar and then one teaspoon of vanilla. Remember to pour out the vanilla slowly and carefully because it does spill out quickly. So I'm going to cream this together now. get fluffy so just keep mixing until it looks fluffy if you end up melting the butter it's just gonna be liquidy it's not gonna be fluffy so that's not what you want to do and remember the butter needs to be unsalted butter so you need to be reading when you go to the grocery store to purchase it And then I'm going to go ahead and add the yolk only. So I have a little Tupperware container that I'm going to use to save the egg whites for a different recipe later on. So I'm going to crack it and then I'm going to move the yolk side to side until all the egg white falls off of it. Okay. Try to get as much egg white off as you can because this recipe doesn't need the protein. It needs the fat from the egg yolk. Okay. So clean off my hands. the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and remember we added the flour so we need to make sure to not blend too quickly it should be on level one it should not go to a higher speed than that
So again, this one looks like wet sand. So you can see that it's very similar to the recipe we did earlier. And I'm gonna get my baking sheet that I already have lined with parchment paper like I did earlier. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it all on one baking sheet this time. So again, you're gonna kind of form it into a ball and then you're gonna press down to make it flat like a cookie. Remember these cookies do not spread out. It stays the size that you make it. So don't worry about putting them too close together because it, it won't make a difference. It'll stay in its same spot. about enough to make one more cookie. Now we're gonna put this in the oven at 350, which it's already been preheated for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, it'll be more on the side of 20 minutes. So I will show you the difference between recipe A and recipe B because there will be a visual difference. Okay, thanks guys.